Hello Internet, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at Chelsea, but 20 years into the future. So let's hop in the TARDIS and find out. Let's take a quick overview here of the main page, what's going on. This is the uh, Football Manager 2018 beta. Um, but I doubt things, well, things ain't going to change because this is my own version of uh, 20 years from now. A uh, quick glance of the progression chart for the league history shows some success. We'll have to take a look at that in a little bit more information. Meanwhile, let's take a look at your current state of affairs here. Your current manager, Zinedine Zaydan. So I'm not sure if you're happy with that or not. And obviously some players here and more than likely they don't ring any bells. So let's take a look at your current squad. Okay, last time out, if you did check out some of my uh, club guides, I didn't really give you too much information. It was it was pretty uh, rough, to be, if, if in all fairness. Uh, I was trying to get this the videos out as soon as possible to provide you guys with the information as soon as I had it. But anyway, this is a quick, uh, a, a more detailed information view. So you can see, um, you know, statistics and values and everything uh, straight off the bat. Um, and here we are. This is the Chelsea lineup. I can't, I can't show you too much information because I'm not manager. Uh, and if you know about time travel, you cannot mess with the flux. So we sh this is what you're going to get. Sort them into value. See who's the most expensive player. In Indo is your most, ex most expensive player. Brazilian midfielder seems to play across midfield and in attack. Then you've got another Brazilian knocking on, uh, knocking on his door who plays in central midfield and also defensive midfield. For both of those two players, valued in excess of sixty-eight million pounds. Then you've got Gary Walters, Englishman, left midfield, uh, sixty-six million pounds, fifty caps to his name, twenty-eight years of old, uh, hitting his hitting his peak right about now. Then you have Argentinian Leandro Mendez. He's uh, also midfield, defensive midfield, sixty-three million. Then you've got a Mexican, uh, Daniel Hernandez, again competing with Gary Walters for that left. Uh, side of midfield spot. Then you have a German in the center of defense, Marcus Gerhardt, 60 million. Um, and then f moving down, you've got another Englishman here, striker, worth 27 million, striker slash attacking midfielder. Um, and then you also have a few Argentinians. Um, so Brexit and the uh, work permit conditions seem to be no problem for Chelsea. So let's take a look at your pre your managers over the past few years. Uh, Conte only lasted three seasons, but he did pick up two titles along the way and a cup. We'll have a look at those in just a second. Uh, Paolo Ferreira took over on an interim basis. Leonardo Jardim came in uh, for just over, a, well, nearly two years, picking up one trophy. Um, Lucio Riccio took over as a caretaker before Luis Enrique came in for just over two years, picking up a, a league win and three cups. And then your most successful period to date. Unai Emery comes in for just over a decade, 10 years. Uh, he was sacked, picking up six league titles along the way, 25 cups. So a very promising, look at that, look at that um, quick summary of what you what you won over the over the 10 years that he was in charge. Then, then Luis Enrique came in once again um, for another year, and uh, nearly two years, picked up a Another league title, so that's two for him. Joel Ekstand came in as an interim um, an interim basis. And now Zinedine Zidane's in there. He's only been there for a best part of a month. Um, so this is his era. We'll see how long he can last. Let's take a look at the Premier League history. So uh, over the years, you on the first initial season, fourth spot. But then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Premier League titles to your name and your lowest point of fifth uh, during the 2021-22 campaign. Um, so pretty, pretty decent, pretty strong. How about the League Cup? You, you, you won the League Cup on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight League Cups over the past 20 years. That is redonkulous. You beat Arsenal, United, West Brom, QPR, Man City, amongst others. How about the FA Cup? Just the one win beating Watford in the final. Um, other than that, no other final appearances. So you can consider that a bit of a, a bit of a black spot for, um, for, Ch uh, for Chelsea. Meanwhile, in the UEFA Cup, in your two appearances in the UEFA Cup, you won it. Beating Liverpool in the final and then Inter. How about the most important one that you're after? the Champions League. 
one, two, three, four, five, five Champions League successes in 20 years. And not to mention uh, another final against Bayern, you lost. Um, but pretty, you look like a promising team. Looks like uh, Chelsea are a major force. Uh, let's take a look at your best 11 over the year. So, obviously, some standouts. Andre Christensen, he was actually a member on the original board. Uh, Courtois in there as your goalie. Uh, Eden Hazard. Um, those are the players that probably stand out. Obviously, um, some some players ad added to the books. Uh, Dialba, I think he's currently in the real world at, on, with Juventus. Uh, Lewis Cook, um, I think he is a Bournemouth. That's correct. Um, so, he... Ended up on Chelsea's books. Uh, so all in all, this is the, your, your your key 11 over the past 20 years. And you can have a quick scan of your statistics. But we're going to take a look season by season now. Just a quick glance over the Marauder lead, leads the line. 20 goals. Um, next season, Diablo comes in. 21 goals uh, for him. Uh, Eden Hazard, 16 in the 2019-2020 season. Um, Diablo with 21. You got 11 goals from uh, Saul. In the centre of midfield. Diablo continues chipping in the goals. Diablo and Hazard. Crucial to this uh, Chelsea squad over the years. And probably crucial to that dominance in Europe. As well as the Premier League. Um, Coutinho. 23 goals during the 2023-24 season. Uh, and same again the, next, the following season. So he seemed to be a crucial player. 20, 20 goals for himself there. And Pablis Curaro. 28 goals outscoring Diablo during the 25-26 campaign, moving into 26-27. Uh, 31 goals from Papis Carraro and uh, 25 goals from Coutinho. He played a total of 62 games during that campaign. That's ridiculous. Uh, moving into 10 years from now, um, Diablo leading the line, 26 goals. Carraro, um, 52 games, 25 goals. So pretty tasty midfield, pretty tasty uh, team overall. You've got Dembele in there. 13 goals, playing out of the left-hand side of an attacking four. Um, following season, goals, abundance from Coutinho, Carrero, Ferreira coming in, Diablo with 11. He seems to be on his way out. Uh, replacement of striker, Salvatore Ferrezi comes in, 29 goals. 32 goals from Carrero on the right-hand side of... No, he's from the centre of, of midfield. Um, pretty decent. And we're now getting towards the later stages. Carrero, 21 goals, still... Doing the business. Um, and now we're getting towards present day. And there we go. So let's take a look at the highest goal scorers in a list view. Uh, 31 goals. Papis Carrero, uh, pretty high. Uh, he, he, out, he outdoes himself by scoring 32 during the 2029-2030 season. Um, most assists. Gian Mario Crespi. He's got 23 during the 2027-28 campaign. Um, and Papis Carrero got 21 on 2029-2030 campaign. Um, just take a look at those for yourself. Eden Hazard, back to back to back to back, consistent uh, most assists score, um, most assists. And Eden Hazard dominating over the first six or so seasons. As for fastest goal, let's take a look at who scored the fastest goal over the years. Uh, we've got a 16 second one here by Saul. Um, Danilo gets a 13 second goal 11 seconds by Pablo Dayela uh, that seems to be the record to beat currently he scored that in the 6th round against Manchester United um, FA Cup meanwhile the youngest player to don the blue shirt of Chelsea Callum Hudson Odi 16 years old James Clark also 16 um, Craig Farley held the record for 2 years well he was the youngest player for 2 years um Dan Stewart, George Bates, he seems to be the man. Let's see how much he's worth. 18 years old, valued at 18, on loan at Derby. Uh, meanwhile, let's have a look at your oldest player. 36-year-old Willie Caballero. Uh, that record still stands. Let's take a look at the major landmarks over the years. Obviously, uh, Dominated by winning a lot of junk. Uh, Premier League failed. Uh, club fails. English Premier League fail, financial fair, fair play. John Dunn fails and take take over bid. New chairman. He eventually gets it after Abramovich leaves. Um, 
and that's it. So that's your current that's your current owner, uh, John Dunn, taking over from your Russian godfather, should I say, in Abramovich. Where is he? Is he out? He's out of the game. So let's take a look uh, before I head out at your staff. So John Dunn, let's see if there are any familiar names in here for you. Obviously Zidane is your coach. Hugo Lloris is your under-18 goalkeeping coach. Hilario, uh, still with the club, uh, at the senior squad goalkeeping coach. Jody Morris, that name rings a bell. I think he's an ex, uh, ex-Chelsea player. Um, in fact, you got such a huge squad of staff. Eddie Newton, again, former Chelsea player from the past, uh, from the 90s. So it looks like a, a tasty future up ahead for Chelsea. Before I go, as a quick look at the Premier League table. There you are, fourth spot um, inside the Champions League spot at the moment. Southampton could pip you. So there's four games left. So, um, you know, who knows what's going to happen there. Man City look like they got this in the bag. I think mathematically, United you know, it could pip them, but... It's doubtful. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Keep you bang up to date of all things Football Manager going forward. I have a couple game saves in the pipeline. I haven't started them just yet, but I'm working on them. Um, so please stand by for those. But until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not. Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.